Everyone can potentially enter the Dakar and you do not need to be a Rally Raid champion to take part. In fact, the vast majority of its competitors are amateurs. The only condition is to be at least 18 years of age and possess an FIA international license for cars and trucks or an FIM international license for bikes and quads. The bikes and quads, however, are subject to a selection criterion which requires candidates to have already finished a qualifying rally raid. The goal of the Dakar is to have both professionals and amateurs participating in the same rally and on the same route. So if you have the spirit for adventure and the desire to compete, as well as the financial resources to get both you and your vehicle along with any necessary support crew to the start line, then you can compete. That said, it can take competitors years to prepare for their first Dakar rally and the physical and mental challenges of the race cannot be underestimated. Professional teams, on the other hand, often come with the backing and support of large auto manufacturers and constructors, who see the Dakar as the perfect platform for the testing and development of their vehicles and prototypes. They come with big budgets and sponsorships and employ professional driving and support teams along with mechanics, medics and cooks. Some of the factory teams include KTM, Honda, Yamaha, Sherco and Hero in the bikes, Toyota, Mini, Peugeot and Audi in the cars, Iveco and Camaz in the trucks, Can-Am, Polaris and Yamaha in the SSVs and Can-Am and Yamaha in the quads. Despite the difference between the two groups of competitors, they both face the same course and conditions and are bound by camaraderie in which all try to help each other make it to the finishing line. In fact, it is not uncommon to see factory racing teams providing assistance and support to amateur teams and pilots on the course and within the bivouac sites. The exception being the riders within the original by Motul category, who under the rules are allowed no assistance other than from their fellow competitors in that class. You can find out more about them by watching our dedicated video. Ultimately, what separate the amateurs from the professional teams is that whilst the amateurs come to Dakar with the dream of simply competing and hopefully making it to the finishing line, the professional teams are out to win the Dakar and the prestige that comes with it.